Good morning, good afternoon or good evening, wherever in the world you might be watching. In this particular upload, I'd like to show you a way to increase your efficiency using VLOOKUPs. In particular, multiple VLOOKUPs. Many people, after they create their formulas here in the uh, uh, row to use VLOOKUP, it only allows them to look up one item at a time. So I'm going to show you how to create multiple VLOOKUPs. It's really quite simple. There are only three steps involved. And as we perform each step, we'll put a tick in the check boxes here so that we know exactly where we are. Now, one very important feature that we must be aware of is that each of the items that you want to look up must be individually identifiable. In other words, in this set of data we have three TOMs. TOM, TOM1 and TOM2. Likewise, we have two bills. One bill and a bill two. If you don't individually identify each item, then Excel will only stop at the very first item that it comes to. Now, how do we do it? In this case, in this cell, I've entered that formula. If I look up here, equals if error, VLOOKUP, look up what's in D18, that is the name that we'll be entering, look in the array of information, uh, D6 down to H14, and notice the use of the dollar signs in the, in the formula. I have a dollar sign before the column reference for the uh, lookup cell. I have not put a dollar sign before the row number because I want to copy the formula down and have the row number change as I move through the rows when I'm copying. The dollar signs are before all of the uh, cell references in the set of data that I want to be searched. Then I insert the column number the age will be in column 2, the salary will be in column 3, the phone number in column 4, and the commencement date will be in column 5. I've simply put the column numbers here for reference sake. You can either leave them there or not, or type them in or not. Followed by the word false in each of the formulas because the data is not in ascending alphabetical order. Therefore, it looks for the first exact match. Then I've typed a comma after the bracket and a space between two double quotes, which means that if there is an error, don't show me the uh, hash NA return because uh, that looks a bit, uh, uh, a bit awkward. doesn't present very well at all. Okay, so how do we do it? Well, first of all, we enter the VLOOKUP formula in the first row across here. And what I've done, I've simply entered that formula in that cell, then I've copied it across with my uh, autofill button and gone through each cell and changed the column number as I mentioned before. Again, Notice there is no dollar sign before the row number in the first argument which allows only the row number to be changed as you copy the formula down. So now we've done that. Now what we want to do is copy the formula down for the number of entries that I want. I want four. You can have as many as you want. So what I'm going to do is to drag through the formula in the cells and then with my autofill button copy that formula down. So, so far so good. Now let's see how it works. We've done that one. Now it says enter the lookup data followed by enter. So the first thing we're going to do is to look up Tom. And when I press enter, there are Tom's details. Now I'll check for Sue. There are Sue's details. In other words, I didn't have to go back to this cell and change it to Sue. Now I can see both of them. This one will say Tom1. There we are, Tom1. 
there's his data there and finally we'll say bill 2 and there are bill 2's information now a little note down here again study the construction of the formula in each cell this particular file is fully downloadable from the uh, address that you see in the description below the video and also note how the column number has changed in each cell so there we go that's uh, a nice easy way to uh, get multiple VLOOKUPs working for you very very handy particularly in um, perhaps HR departments or products etc thank you so much for watching don't forget to subscribe and we'll see you next time bye for now